What's going on, everybody? My name is LB, the realist, and this is Surrealistic Studios. Once again, <clears throat> I'm pondering. I'm just doing some thinking right now, and I'm thinking, you know, come 2020, you know, what's it going to look like? What's it going to feel like? How's it going to be? Like, is it going to be, is Bernie Sanders going to be a candidate again? Will I vote for Bernie Sanders in 2020, or will I vote for uh, maybe uh, Nina Turner, or throw her um, bid in, or Tulsi Gabbard? She left the DNC, or stepped down from the DNC because she wanted to endorse, endorse Bernie Sanders, and they were supposed to be unbiased. You know, so that, that, that took a lot of guts from Tulsi Gabbard. I have a, a great respect for her. Um, maybe even Jill Stein, Jill Stein, you know, like she's hella progressive. <laughs> That's what I, I should call the name. I should call this channel hella progressive. <laughs> um, I really don't know. I mean, you got Hillary Clinton that's probably going to run again. I'm for damn sure not voting for her. You know, Donald Trump is going to try to keep his seat. And I'm just thinking, like, what's the game plan here? Like, because time's running out. I mean, it's already 2017. It's headed to 2018 in a few months here. And I don't know if we have all this time to be wasting. And honestly, the country knows Bernie Sanders more now. A lot more now. He's been he's been in the news, I'm sure. A lot more than he what he was. Um, he's the most popular politician in America, if I, if that's correct. So, I mean, the only thing with Bernie Sanders is there's just, there's a mistrust that I have for him now. Because I feel like he's been corrupted. He's been, I would I don't know if it's swayed to the dark side, but I'm not sure if Bernie Sanders is the rebel we thought or that we would like him to be. I honestly think that we have that in Jill Stein. I mean, she's been arrested multiple times trying to crash the um, the debates. And Tulsi Gabbard, we all know she's a rebel. <laughs> or maybe she ain't a rebel, but she's willing to step down for you know for what she believes in. She's willing to take a hit. I know you got some people out there that are just like, eh, fuck the election. I'm not voting anymore. And I think that's, I think that's definitely a mistake. I think it's a mistake because there's more than one option. It's not, it's not either or. You know, you can, you can write in candidates. You can choose a third party candidate. And yeah, they may not win, but at least you're voting your conscience. At least you're still politically involved and you're fighting for something that you believe in. Instead of just withdrawing yourself from the situation completely. That's not courageous. That's not, that's not doing anything positive. That's not, that's not helping. You're actually hurting more than you're helping by non-exclusion or by excluding yourself from the whole, um, from the whole situation. So, <clears throat> like I said, I was just pondering, like, well, what, what are we gonna, what are we gonna do, come twenty twenty? It's coming around pretty quickly. I know they got draft Bernie going on, and like I said, there's still a, a mistrust that I have there. I'm not sure if Bernie's working for the deep state now or not. It's a fucked up feeling, because I love Bernie Sanders. He's the one that motivated me to get into politics in the first place, but. I don't know, there just comes a time when you just got to move on and move past, push forward. And, you know, that's what I'm doing now. So I'm not, on a, I'm not sure if 
if Bernie Sanders needs to be the face or needs to lead the People's Party. I think maybe the people should do that. Maybe there shouldn't be just one face for the People's Party. You know? I don't know. I'm just doing some thinking. Tell me, guys, what you guys think. Who's going to get your vote 2020 um, out of the names that I've listed? Are some of you just going to vote Donald Trump? Bernie Sanders? You're going to get Hillary in? Jill Stein? We'll see. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And give me your thoughts. Until next time, love, peace, and chicken grease, my peeps. I'm out.